ticket troubles leave thousands of Bangladeshi stranded at the airport amid Malaysian calling visa deadlines looms. Qadir asserts court's jurisdiction to arrest Benazir. Saiful Haq points finger at government. And sudden floods hit Silet region due to heavy rain. Five Upasalas inundated millions of... Good evening and welcome to News 24 English Bulletin. This is Sanjana Chaudhry. Those were the Walton Millionaire Offer headlines. Now the details. Thousands of Bangladeshis thronged Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport in anticipation of the cancellation of calling visas for Malaysian-bound workers. Amit ticket woes, three flights departed in the morning with four more scheduled for the evening, accommodating 1,500 workers. Malaysia's ban on entry for workers from 15 countries, including Bangladesh, from Friday has fueled uncertainty. Baiman Bangladesh Airlines planned a special flight Friday evening aiming to transport 271 passengers. Former IGP Benazir Ahmed's bank accounts along with his family members were emptied prior to being frozen, possibly to erase traces of corruption. The Anti-Corruption Commission ACC is probing a corruption case involving 33 accounts linked to Benazir and his relatives. Large sums were withdrawn from these accounts before a court order. An ACC suspects the withdrawn amount to be substantial, possibly crores of Taka. Bangladesh Biplobi Workers Party General Secretary Saiful Haq questioned the government's decision to appoint a banned individual as police chief. He demanded clarity on whose interests these decisions served. Speaking at a conference organized by the Rickshaw Driver Solidarity Association, Haq accused the government of creating Benazir and Aziz. He highlighted that these individuals were product of the current government's actions. Awami League General Secretary Obadil Qadir asserted that the court holds authority over whether to arrest former IGP Benazir Ahmed. Qadir urged the ACC to clarify their stance on Benazir's departure abroad during investigations, stressing the necessity of notification. Speaking at a press conference in Dhanmondi, he affirmed that the government ensured accountability for corruption. Qadir highlighted past punishments for corruption within the ruling party and criticized the BNP's government methods. BNP Standing Committee member Goeshwar Chandra Roy stressed the need for current student societies to combat fascism and achieve national liberalism. Roy lamented the persecution faced by Jati Utapadi Chhatradal leaders under the government's regime over the past 17 years. Speaking at a photo exhibition and discussion at Nayapalton commemorating Zia Rahman's death anniversary, he urged for collective efforts towards the country's freedom from authoritarianism. We'll be back after a short break. Please stay with us. Welcome back. You're watching News 24 English Bulletin. A Dhaka court has placed three accused in the murder case of Janaida for MP Anar on a five-day remand. After the hearing on Friday afternoon, Dhaka Metropolitan Magistrate Shanto Islam granted a five-day remand. They were produced before the Dhaka Metropolitan Magistrate's court in the afternoon. The murder of MPNR raises concerns about West Bengal's role as a haven for Bangladeshi terrorists. Dhaka's intelligence chief stressed joint efforts to combat terrorism between Dhaka and Kolkata. Despite shared cultural and linguistic ties, recent incidents like that is all the news for today. Thank you for watching News24. Please stay with us.